Good afternoon. Today is Wednesday the 17th of July. It is now 20 past 3 um, in the afternoon. The weather outside is grey but it's a bit muggy out there. As you can see I've just had my hair done. Freshly done today so it's just uh, so it's taking me time just to get used to it being nicely fresh and beautiful and everything. Um, what can I say? A lot's been happening since I last um since my last podcast which i did i think it was towards the end of june um it was james and i um anniversary last tuesday uh we celebrated eight years of marriage so many more years to come um we had a week off last week from work so that we can actually just you know spend time together and just completely just chill out Spent a night in Greenwich. Uh, that was the Monday. That that was the first day of our holiday. It was a Monday. Okay, actually came back on our anniversary. Uh, what did we do? We just went, you know, went and uh, saw the Cutty Saga and just chilled out really. Um, came back on the Tuesday. Um, lot of last week. What else did we do? Saw my mum. Saw my sister. Uh, what else did we do? Took well, my mum wanted a fan because apparently hers broke down and whatnot. So we took uh, her and my sister to um, Argos on the Pearly Way, no, which is not that far from where where we live. So we got the fan for uh, for my mum. Apparently she had both of them had so much trouble getting it all set up and everything. So we. Me and James went round on Sunday because my mum rang in a bit of a panic and said, "Oh, we can't fix the fan, blah blah blah." I'm like, "Okay, we'll we'll come out and we fix the, you know, we'll come." And we well, we were intended to go um, and see them on Sunday anyway, so we just um, fixed the fan. <laughs> Took a few attempts. We've got everything all set up, but it was the actual rotator place that. I think we put it in the wrong way because when we put it in one way and tried it, it spun off. But luckily, it was in its cage. So we took it out um, and tried it again. Still, it just kept getting caught in the um, in the in the metal cage thing. So uh, undid it all, took it out, the, took the, the propeller blades out, put it back up. Flipped it over and it seems to have worked. So uh, my mum seems to, says when I when I spoke to her, pardon me, last week. No, sorry, on when was it? Monday after I came went back to work on Monday. When when I came home when I came home from work on Monday, I spoke to her and she said that is that it was still working and everything. So that was fabulous. Didn't really want to go back to work to be honest with you. Um, but there we go. Anyway, so that's what's been happening since since the last video. Um, so the purpose of the video today is showing off, you know, like all my work's progress. Work, well, look, sorry, all my finished um, diamond paintings, which of which I've got a few. Um, it's it's more of my smaller diamond paintings but I do have a larger diamond painting which is which measures 50 by 75 but I thought because I'm videoing on my phone it was a bit too large for me to actually rip it out and show you so it's mainly my smaller ones that, I'm, that I've got you know all complete and as you can see I've got two here this one um, I got from at the moment it is a uh, 30 by 30 um, James has uh, christened him Professor Tabby. Let me just bring it out to show you. You get a closer look. So that's Professor Tabby, and as you can see, it's 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 square, a square diamond painting. Um, and what I did uh, with this one is I sealed it with um, Mod Podge. Um, because the top, some of the, the most of the the top row of beads 
I don't know what happened, but it was that they were coming loose because I don't think it was sticky enough or something happened to the to the canvas, which is not like ever moment to give to give me such a duff canvas because most of the canvases are pretty perfect, which is why I ordered from them in the first place. But I think I'm not sure what it was, but it was just the the top two rows were not sticky. So what I did um, to order. In order to prevent the, you know, for me not to lose the stickiness, I, I've got some double-sided tape, which I ordered from um, Amazon. And I've got this size, I've got the thinnest size, and I've got a thicker size, both of which I got from Amazon. Um, and I just stuck it down, you know, at the top, just so that it can, um, you know, my beads don't fall off. But um, but I thought just to give it that extra little bit of um, security so one of my paintings fell down, um, I'd, I'd seal it with Mod Podge. And as you can see, it's quite sparkly. And what I used, I'm just trying to see if I've got, if I've got it here because I've got a ray of stuff to the side of me. This is what I used to seal this particular diamond painting. I let me just reorganise myself. Let me just put this back over here. It's called um, my Mod Podge Extreme Extreme Glitter. Um, I thought when you actually put it on, I thought. You know, it actually looked as if it was going to dull the um, the bees a little bit, um, but it it hasn't really. Um, it hasn't really dulled the bit, dulled the, uh, the painting. So I'm just going to try and get get into shot here. As you can see, it's still it's still shiny. I'm just bring it back again, and as you can see, you can see see why it's called extreme glitter. So it's just this glass. Um, it's got all the glitteriness in it, as you can see. Let's go get Professor Dabby in there. There we go. So that's what I used to seal. To seal it. Um, I do have other um, Mod Podge um, pro pro products as well, which let me just line them up because I've got they're all by my side at the minute, which is brilliant. And what I tend to do, I tend to, if I'm going to order products, I tend to try and get at least two of everything. Um, you know, so that if I run out, at least I've got some, I've got some spare. So, well, get, get onto them in a minute. Um, I've got this. Um, diamond painting here. Uh, it's a thirty by forty. And I haven't really named this one. Um, it's been a while since I actually completed this one. It was one of my first diamond paintings, and it's a thirty by forty. The frame I got from this frame, and this frame I got from. Um, I get them from Hobbycraft. Unfortunately, when I was trying to when I was trying to put the glass back onto this one, the glass broke. But that's okay. But what I might do, I might actually seal this one. Um, I finished this one quite quite a while ago. I haven't really given this one a name except cat with blue with with blue eyes. And I've got a random green um, diamond in there. This is a round diamond painting. I'm actually quite pleased with that one. Huh. So that, so this this one came from Amazon. This one came from Ever Moment. All the links I'll put down in the uh, description box below. This diamond painting. Um, it's a 
It's a twenty. Oh gosh, twenty-five by thirty. I think I can't remember the sizing of it. Uh, came from Ever Moment. Again, it's a square one. It's called Never Forgotten. Um, and I think I sealed this one. Yes, I did seal this one. Yep, I sealed it. And I sealed it with... What did I seal it with? Much, much Podge Super Gloss. Which is this one, because it's supposed to make it look really super glossy. Um... All of these products, all of the Mod Podge products I got from Amazon, link it in the description box below. Uh, where, uh, that's where I got them from. So that's that. Uh, this one took me, I think it took me a few days to complete that. Look. I can't remember how long it took me, but it just it didn't take me that long. Let me just see. let me just have a look at my in my trusty book and now I, I can tell you. Uh, ah yes, here we go. I started this one. I started that. This never forgotten. Um, on the eighth of June, and I finished it on the fourteenth of June, and it was a twenty-five by thirty, and it took me six, six days to complete. It's only a small one. Um, mainly. 3865 diamond, um, diamonds, um, which makes a change from all black, I suppose, which is a good thing. Um, the Prof Professor Tabby, I don't think I've got that written down in my book. Let me have a look to see. No, I haven't. But anyway, that one. That one didn't take me long to do. I think that took me a week or something. I can't remember. Just seeing if I've got... No, I haven't got... I have written down the details in this book. I think I've got it in another book. I think. So, that didn't take me long to do. Um, let's see. Mm. This time for five. Ah. This one again. Haven't got a name for 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 this particular cat. Um, did, sorry about the shine um, of it. The shine, the reflectiveness of the um, of the uh, the the covering. Um, this one um, I got from Amazon. Again, it's a thirty by a thirty by forty. All the frames that that you see um, that are covering all my works I got from um, Amazon. So this one is a is around um, diamond painting, and this one I sealed with the Mod Podge Extreme Glossy Extreme Gloss. Subscribe with that one. This, <laughs> this is a stunning one. Got this one, um, Lady Snowden. Any animal ones that I do, I tend to name them. Apart from cat, cat with the blue eyes and the one with the flower. I haven't, I haven't given them names or anything. Those are the only two animal ones that I haven't given any names to. This one I've given a name to, Lady Snowden. Isn't she gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. It's a 30 by 30. This one I have written in, in, in my book. Started this one on the 30th of May and completed it on the 8th of June. Uh, took me nine days to complete it. Um, again, I sealed this one with... Uh, what did I seal it with? I think I sealed it with um, the Mod Podge um, Super Gloss. Yeah, but yeah, this, I'm absolutely stunning. Absolutely proud of this one. 
something. And as you can tell, I like animals, especially of the feline variety. What can I say? It's what, <laughs> it's what I do. My mum thinks I'm crazy, but I'm like, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> but once I showed it to her, because what I tend to do is I try and do take them all do them all in stages like when I first start so they've got a pictorial diary so that if I forget to write it down at least I've got a date stamp of when I've actually started the project so that I can't so I go so I can't tell I said oh my god what when 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 did I start this blah 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 so so that's that one I've done another sparkly one this is um Bengal tiger um and this is a uh the uh what do you call it rhinestone one the size of this one is a 30 by a 30 by 35 just trying to pack it um sorry but there's not a lot I can do about the glare I'm afraid well let's just try and so but as you can see it's quite quite sparkly I'll just show you the um sparkles there we go isn't she beautiful I've, it's well it looks like a she so I'm calling, so I'm calling it a she I have to decide to give this one a name because I'm not too sure what to call it yet um, so that's that one and for this one what I did because I it was a 30 by 35 um, I decided just to see if it would actually fit with the whole canvas as is and it does but what I want I'm going to do is just cut the edges off round it and then just flip it over um, just so I can just have like a bit of a well a bit of a board so you're not seeing all you know like the key and everything like that and this is cute this is cute Bill and Bob is what I've is what I've quick written them. It's a partial. Uh, this is the only partial that I've got complete. And it's a thirty by forty, or so it works. So what it says up here. Bear in mind this is a thirty by forty frame out, but it doesn't even fit properly. I don't think so. Might have to try and do something just to neaten it up a little bit, just so, just so it doesn't look quite as random as it does. Um, I've sealed this one. Um, it, again, this is a, um, it's a round partial which I got from Amazon. So I'll just link for all the paintings that I've showed today. I will link them in the description box, in the description box below. Um, I've sealed this particular one with two different sealants uh, this one I I sealed with gloss and this one I sealed, I sealed with satin by Mod Podge I'll just show you not, not that I can see any difference between the two to be honest with you This is much podge uh, gloss. Yeah, that's much podge gloss. And this is sorry satin, much podge satin. So that's I think that's all the range that that, I could, that I've got at the moment. Got much podge satin, much podge gloss. Get that to focus a little bit. Uh, let me have a look. Much Podge Extreme Glitter. And Much Podge Super, Super Gloss. Now, uh, now, I've seen um, a good... Uh, YouTube podcaster called Studio Sam 
and one of her videos she goes through she actually goes through all the um different um uh, uh sealants that she uses and the one that she, that she recommends that she well that she likes the most most because she actually did like a, um, a video which I thought was really really good um, and that described and she showed which is the best sealant in her opinion which was her favourite that she used and hers if I remember rightly it was the Mod Podge uh, um, Mod Podge sorry Mod Podge uh, Super Gloss and I think there's another one um the Art Deco Triple Thick Gloss Glaze. I think that's another one that uh, that she likes as well. Um, um, and what I used, well, me being me, I can't actually find it at the moment, but um, I do have, I have used um, like, the, like a short, wide Mod Podge brush to actually paste them on um because I didn't I didn't have any brushes and but I also bought off of Amazon like um the Mod Podge with the handle which I haven't got here to show you I think I might do but I'm not entirely sure what I've done with it so it's around here somewhere up in my next video that I do I'll show you I'll go into that a little bit more in in, in a little more detail and I've got one more diamond painting that I need to show you oops and this is it it's a bit for bigger it's bigger than my other ones it's for 40 by 40 um from Ever Moment on on AliExpress, called the Weaving Girl, forty by forty, square. Um, this one I think took me. I think this took me about a month or two. I think I haven't got it written down, so I can so I can't actually tell you how long it took me. But yeah. I haven't, I haven't um, sealed that one because, um, like I said, the canvas, all the mo the canvases from Ever Moment are pretty much, you know, perfect. Um, let me just have a look because I usually, if I don't write them down, I usually have them somewhere stored so that can, so that can actually tell me. Spare with me one second. Oops. Because I usually, what I usually do is, as soon as I finish the painting, um, I just put it up on Facebook, um, and that will tell, and you know, with all the details, like how big it was, what uh, when I started it, when I started the project, um, how long it took me, um, and the size, and the um, task. So just bear with me. Let me have a look. Ah, here we go. I knew I'd find it. Sorry, I'm just still looking, still looking. No, I, fortunately I didn't put the deta the details on it, um, but I can tell you. Uh, started it started it on the 29th of April, so I'm just looking on on, on my Facebook profile, and completed it on the 7th of May. So about six days, six seven days. Took me. That was going some, I think. So, 
but yeah but and what i tend to do is i tend to i don't know if i, if, if I can actually because what i tend to do is i tend to do it in stages i'll show you that is the first day that i started it and then yeah and then i just do it instead just up, 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 upload it as I, as I go along until i actually finish it now for this particular painting i do have um, the same painting from Ever again I got from Ever Moment. Um, it's a sixty by sixty. I started it. I haven't quite finished it. I haven't finished it yet. I've only got to the bottom stages of it. So um, yeah. Um, what else can I talk about? So there go. So that's that's so, every, so all the um, projects that I've, that I've shown you today. What I'll do is I'll once I've uploaded this video, I will uh, put in the description box where I purchased each um, painting. I mean, most of the most of them are from Ever Moment, apart from two. No, most of them are from Ever Moment, apart from three of my diamond paintings. So I will and endeavour to put that on to in in into the description box. Uh, now I just want to talk about my um pickup pens. What do you lovely diamond paint diamond painting people love to do or love to use? Do you do you use your the standard pink pen? Um as is, as it comes in the kit, do you use a grippy? Um, do you have custom um, diamond painting pens? Or, or, you know, what do you use? Me, I've got, <laughs> I have used such a variety of pens, you know, that um, it it's something that will make me, you know, make diamond painting for me happy, comfortable in the long run so this is what i've got it's this pink pen um it's kind of, it comes with my every moment kits um and it's got the grippy uh, this grippy came um this pink grippy came with a came with another um diamond painting that which i did an unboxing i think a couple of weeks ago but i haven't actually uploaded that video yet which I will do. Um, it's just a matter of time. <laughs> so this is my this is one of my go to um, diamond painting pens. It's very very comfortable. This one I ordered from Etsy. Um, again, I'll link it in the description box. But I, I think you, uh, because I saw this on. Uh, Facebook in one of, I think it was a page that I that I saw it on or um, somebody in one of the diamond diamond painting groups I mean they they recommended Etsy so I thought well let me get let me give it a go so I ordered this last week and got it yesterday oh my god it is so nice it's made from I'm gonna written it down sorry um, it's made with um, it's the standard pink pen, and it's covered with tulip, tulip wood. So I went. <laughs> I let you into a, a, a little secret. When I was at the hairdressers, um, getting my hair done, I was doing my podcast notes so that I know because I wasn't too sure whether I was going to do um, a video today or a video tomorrow um, because I've got a few days off before you know I go to work, but before I'm due to go back to work so um so I just and I sort of I've been on the um right path um according to my my, my um podcast notes but anyway I um yeah so let's be just going off a tangent again so yeah so this one I got from Etsy um it this is it's so 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 smooth um it's got all these bumps on it so but it's just so you know comfortable to hold in my hand so 
so it's just a standard pink, pink pen but it's just covered with with um tulip wood and this one i think cost me 20 20 pounds i think 21 quid i think so that's that one i did order a clay one as well but i can't seem to i haven't misplaced it i've got it in one of my many many um containers and i don't know which one which container i've got it in and this is another one that and this is another pink pen it's all the standard pink pens but i actually use the um what do you call it um i don't know what's wrong with my brain today um Ra rainbow loons um a podcaster i got i got inspired by this podcaster her name's megan and her you and she she's the creator of the uh, preschool teacher addicted to diamond painting i will link it in the description box below so that you know where to go if you if you if um if you want to see um any you know any of the videos and the thing is i've got a like a lot of um pink paints which i still have yet to to create you know grippies with um I was just finding the time really to do so i think but yeah i can i can actually just you know um chop and change chop and change it you know if i get tired of using this one I can use this one forget I do use in this one I go to this one you know it just depends on where on on where my you know hapless brain takes me um, but as you can tell on these two I've got a, a three placer and I've got I think this is a five placer I can't I just I can't get on with them personally so I don't use them but I just leave them on there because otherwise, you know, this is what this pen looks like without it. This is what it looks like with it. And I personally think it looks prettier with the placer on it, basically, I think. And this is a three placer. I can just about get the hang of using the three placer um but anything bigger than that no but me i i prefer excuse me doing placing my, my diamonds one by one excuse me for me it's it's a lot easier you know i don't have to worry about straightening straightening anything out um yeah so that's that um also what else in terms of picking up the diamonds with your diamond pen, with your diamond pens, what do you lovely people use? Just leave a comment down below. Do you use the pink wax that comes with the um, diamond paintings? Do you use blue, blue tack, or do you use something else? I'm interested to know. Um, I started off using uh the blue uh, sorry the pink wax but i found that i was digging it constantly digging it out every 20 minutes and replacing it and that just really wears me down um so i've taken to using just ordinary blue tack my god i don't know why i didn't think of this earlier it was. It wasn't until I was watching a uh, YouTube. Oh, who was I watching? I think it was Studio, Studio Slam again when she was um, doing her top top ten top ten tips. If you're if you're start starting out doing diamond painting, bear in mind, I I only started doing diamond painting uh, about a year. A year and a bit ago well it's coming to two years actually so yes yeah, nearly two years ago that i started diamond painting and i didn't realize that you can use you know different things to pick stuff up so that was a good tip i go i i only started well i've only been following 
uh, Sam, Studio Sam for, for for quite a few months now. So, but she but she's left some some good tips. I think which I which I have followed. Um, what else can I talk about? That's about it, really. I mean, I've got two diamond paintings on the go, um, which are two customs, but they're both gifts. So I can't. One is for my sister-in-law. I hope she doesn't watch YouTube because I don't really want to give her away too too much. Um, but cause I'm hoping to get it done either by Christmas, so I can present it to her as a Christmas present or get it done by her birthday which is in April and gift it to her as a um, birthday present I'm thinking I don't know, decisions, decisions, decisions and the other diamond painting that I'm, that I'm in the process of um, working on it's a time sensitive one um, and it's for one of my colleagues which I think I um, well, I talked about in a video which I still get to upload. So I've got about two or three videos that I've got to upload um, either later on today or tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. So by the time this video that I'm doing now, as in today, the 17th of July, it may even upload it tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet. So it depends on what what stuff I've got going on um, in the given moment um, yeah so for my, so I think that's about it really I haven't got really much to say at the moment James is at, is at work at the moment so which is why I'm unable to do this video so it's, it's gone a bit poofy I don't know what's, what's gone on there but anyway <laughs> um so for my next video i will uh, be talking about the different storage systems that i'm that i've currently got in use for each kit that i'm using and what actually works best for me um yeah and i'm also thinking about um doing like a chat with me uh video, uh, video as i'm doing a, doing a diamond painting not necessarily uh, the gifts that i'm working on uh, working on at the moment but possibly one that i haven't started yet um that i could do um and on any if i mean i've got two diamond paintings which I'm wait which I'm currently waiting for so maybe in a few videos time I can um, do an unboxing on them both as soon as they come because uh, the last diamond painting that I ordered was the one that I'm doing from uh, for one of my friends uh, which is a time a time sensitive one but um, I'm just I'm just having an idea. Please comment on the please comment if you think it's if it's a good idea. Um if I should do like a uh quick demonstration of what I do to kit up. Um and then do and then just commence doing my diamond painting because you know different people start uh, I find that different people start their diamond paintings in different places. If it's if um I've got a diamond painting that I that's already got the pattern on the canvas, I tend to start in the top right hand corner because I am right handed. If it's a custom diamond painting, because I have ordered from Stitches to Stones, I've got I've got one, two about three or four customs from them which I've yet to complete or even start I should say but for them because it's on a blank canvas and I get the pattern e e email through to me I tend to start in the top left hand corner as I as I suggest just don't ask me why I just I just go with the flow 
basically. So, um, yeah, so just tell me what you think, I, you know, if it's a good idea for me to do a video of showing you how I kit up a diamond painting and also do like a, a paint a paint with me um paint with me um video it's like a whipping chat i think i don't know but before i go i'll just show you um a diamond painting that i which i which i personally think would be a good idea for me to actually do um uh what do you call it a whip and chat on um it's from ever moment you see this is why i love ever moment uh the two pa the two pa paintings i've got coming from ever moment um i'm still waiting for them so hopefully i'll get them by next week so that i can actually do an unboxing um video uh, it depends on if I get them both at the same time, or if I get to, or if I get them separately. I don't know, but this one I'll just show you this one quickly. It's a forty. It's a forty by forty uh, painting, and it is off this. I don't know if you can see that clearly. It's off this wolf. I like. I like wolves. I think they're pretty. I think they're beautiful creatures. I, me, that's that's just my opinion. So, not sure what to call this one. Again, just to get, if if you've got any suggestions on, on as to what I should call this this beautiful creature, I'm thinking shadow. Only because there's, um, a, <laughs> that's what I think anyway. I think because it just looks like a menacing beautiful creature i've decided it was a he it's a he um uh wolf um this is 28 colors long and i've already uh kitted this up i'm not sure yes this one i've already kitted up but yeah i think what i'll do now that no now that I'm thinking about it, um, I'll show you how I kit kit my um, di diamond pa paintings up. This is the inventory sheet, and I actually trust Ever Moment um, because I know that they'll just give me, the, you know, send me enough diamonds to complete the f to complete the picture. Um, if if ever I've run short, which I don't think ever moment will short me, I've got um, a box of spares, which I've still got to actually sort out properly and put them in um, into my proper storage system. But yes, these are, right. I've got um, oops, this twenty um, this container. Now, on here, I've just put the details on here. I've just put glowing wolf, but I'll just change that and, and just, um, I, I, because I've just given him my name, I'll just put his name on there. Um, I'll put the, where I got the, where I got it from, Ali, um, AliExpress. The size is 40 by 40. Um, the date that I ordered it, which was the 10th of May, and I received it on the 23rd of May, so it took 13 days. At the moment, I'm pretty good. Now, this box is... Uh... Oh, sure. Bang goes my diamonds. Oh. I've, got, I've got this storage system from Amazon. It's, it's a, because it's a 28, this is a 28 um, box thing i'll just get out the um one i have to sort out the dumps because they've all spilled out um well from one box because these i don't know what's what's the matter with these boxes but for some reason they are rather well, random um they're like a box of um four and they're all attached together 
um, and as you can see I've just labelled them up you know with the, uh, with the colours and this actually works because it's it's this painting is 28 colours long and there's 28 um, boxes here uh, 28 small storage boxes here there's a floating <laughs> um, diamond but the colours are absolutely gorgeous um, but I'll just show you these these are all the are all the spares that I've got here and as you can see the, the this is a typical 310 310 bag it's this is why I love it the, the the quality of their drills is is far superior to any that I've known I don't know, I thought you quite, can't see that too, too clearly. I'll just show you what they look like underneath. Those are the colors. Oh, they're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So all of them are, I've, got, I've, I've kept together. Um, in terms of looking at the number of um, drills that I've got, it's 25,600 uh, drills total for this. For this particular diamond painting, um, for the 310, the notorious 310, 4618. There you go, 4618. Um, but yeah, again, I've taken inspiration from another podcaster who I, who I've come come to enjoy watching. Um, her name is Rebecca of Four Kids at 147. I'll link it in the description box below. Um, I've been talking for 47 minutes now. But, um, I've never talk, spoken that long uh, before, but anyway, it's all good. So yeah, so in so in a vid in a future video, um, what I'll do is I, I would like to. Um, so how I start um, a diamond painting, um, um, and when and once I get my um, diamond paintings that I've ordered, um, uh, beginning of this month I think I think last last week I ordered them, just so that you know um, I can do the unboxing do show how I kit up um my kit up my um paintings so that as soon as I finish one painting you know I can just go straight you know just go straight um to the next one without having to worry so much so um but if n if not I may I may even change my mind about starting with this one because I've got so many other diamond painters which I've got before I got this before I got this this one but um but we'll see so I may start doing a diamond uh 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 come paint with me video well whatever to, whatever to, I decide to call it I don't know yet I haven't, I haven't quite made up made up my mind on that um, as yet um, so this before, again before I go anywhere uh, I've got um, sorry now again this is from ever moment. It's a Van Gogh star, Starry Night um, painting. It's a big one. I'll just show you. It is. Oh, uh, 60 by 100 by 100. So it's very, very long. Um, and it's wide as well. 
um, I haven't started this one. I got this one. I got this one a while back. I've already um, set up the. I've already kitted it up, but I'm purposely not starting this one. A because I've got I've got I've got some time sensitive um, pa paintings which I which I need to get done and get done quick 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 so that I can you know just um, I don't know just so that I can um, get started on my other paintings you know that I've got, that I've got going on. Um, that's it really I've got that's it. <laughs> I think this I've, I've spoken, spoken for nearly an hour now 50 minutes well come, come, come up to 51 um ah shoot so yeah that's it so I'm not sure when I'm going to record my next video I may um, in this little stretch of time off that I've got before I go back to work on Sunday, may even do it tomorrow. I'm not, I haven't quite made up my mind yet. Um, I'll talk about um, um, the dif the different storage systems that I've got going on, and I'm having such a hard time putting this 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 painting back. So just bear with me. Yeah. So um, I may even do it tomorrow. Um, I'm not one hundred percent sure yet. I have actually started um, preparing podcast notes for it. Um, it's just a matter of me continuing with it. Um, so there we go. Managed to get it all back into the um, into the thing now, which is good. So this is another diamond painting. It's a crystal one rhinestone one I'll just show you this quickly it's um, a garden scenery I've got I've actually got um, two of these um, so I might actually need to carry on with it, with it. it's this in the corner Let's see it's 80 by 45 um, but at some point I have to get you know get cracking and finishing it so, I'll just put this one away. Anyway, I really will have to sign off now. Um, so, please, please, please. Oops. So, please, please, please. Um, subscribe to my channel. Uh, like, comment, do whatever you like. Do whatever you look. Do whatever you need to do. Um, and I shall see you in the next video. See you later. Bye.